Hi, I'm Andrew Heaton. Fake news. And this is Mostly Weekly. Dishonest media. Today we're talking about... Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. Fake news. I just wanted to fit in. But first, I want to speak to you, dear viewer. Now, I don't know much about you. I don't know whether you're watching me from your home toilet or someone else's toilet. I do know you have excellent taste in web series. But without knowing whether you're supporting President Trump or President Winfrey, I think I can convince you that Donald Trump creates fake news. Now, Trump claims to be the arbiter of fake news. He says he coined the term and he very presidentially handed out fake news awards last month. This is a major honor. The winner is the failing New York Times. This is the first win and 15th nomination for the failing New York Times. It's really just an honor to be nominated. But Trump is not the arbiter of fake news. Trump is the typhoid Mary of fake news. He's the progenitor. He's like a conspiracy theory manifesto written by a ghost writer who plagiarized a magician who reveals it was all an evil twin's dream within the Matrix. Or am I? So how does Trump create fake news? Two ways. One. He makes his detractors so crazy they forget their journalistic integrity. In their race to pillory him, they bungle, cherry pick, or even make up facts to confirm their hatred. And number two, he flat out lies. Most recently. And most of those are from this month. Now, to be fair, I understand the pressure Trump is under to lie. I feel it every time I talk to my 7 million viewers about my Jack Deltoids. I get it. But Trump goes above and beyond any normal amount of lying. It was the biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. No. We've signed more bills than any president ever. Nope. My father gave me a small loan of a million dollars. Also nope. And I was just endorsed by ICE. Uh -uh. I don't know Putin. Nope. Some of the media is terrific, but most of it, 70 percent, 75 percent, is absolute dishonest, absolute scum. According to that same study, 86.2% of reporters are very sad losers with the worst ratings. Yet there is some truth to media suckage. Sometimes the media stoops to Trump's level and makes a bunch of unforced errors. Here's a list of several facts the media got wrong about Trump. This isn't Diet Coke. And those are just the errors from major news outlets. This misinformation is then disseminated by your well-meaning but hysterical Trump-hating friends on social media. It's part of a phenomenon called Trump Derangement Syndrome, or TDS. Now, unfortunately, TDS is a term coined by the alt-right. But hey, even a racist clock is alt-right twice a day. You filthy, fascist, scumbag liberals allied with radical Islam. You people are filth, and you know it. Trump Derangement Syndrome is when people are so blinded by their rage against Trump that they don't check their facts and they reflexively oppose anything he likes. Do you suffer from TDS? Symptoms may include aneurysms, sore throat, hair removal, myopia, pussy hat rash, Twitter frenzy, Hitler comparisonitis, chronic overposting, jump cuts, jump cuts, hyperbole, hyperventilation, hysteria, hyperbole vent hysteria. TDS is caused by alarmism, cherry picking data, confirmation bias, asshole reflux, inflated opinion, clickbait fatigue, or a rush to publish. If you suffer from TDS, EDS. Ask your doctor to tell you to stop it. Just stop it! Jesus! The worst part is, no one needs to suffer from TDS because there's no need to exaggerate. Trump already says and does terrible, stupid things. It's like spreading a rumor that the gymnastics molester also hates Black History Month. He's already a bad guy. We don't need to make stuff up. But the difference between Trump and the media is that Trump lies all the time and we've come to expect it. Trump's lies are obvious and self-serving. Here's an analogy. What makes you think I ate the chocolate cake? But the media's misreporting is more subtle, and when the media slacks off, it bolsters Trump's accusations of fake news, which confirms his supporters' suspicions of media bias and emboldens him to keep citing alternative facts, which in turn enrages the media, which in turn enrages Trump. So it's a feedback loop within a repetitive cycle, circulating within a self-propagating continuous system? Or am I? The way out of that cycle is for the media to not slack off. And since that probably isn't going to happen anytime soon, readers should always be skeptical. As Supreme Court Justice Abraham Lincoln once said, don't believe everything you see on the internet. <laughs> eh, we'll fix that in post.